Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you are good. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at an update that's come for the Insta360 ONE R. This new update adds some features. There's a new accessory available, which should make it easier to use while driving. So let's take a look at what all the new features are and what you can do with it. So let's go. So the Insta360 ONE R has been out now for, I guess, a, over a year? Yeah, it's been a while and um, it's a really cool camera. It's the modular camera from Insta360. It has a 360 mod, a one inch mod, which I have in right now, and a 4K mod. And these all kind of provide different ways of shooting different kinds of videos. And today there is a pretty big new update for this camera. It adds several features. Most of the updates are actually to do with using it while either on a motorcycle or in a car so to make it easier to use in that situation and it is a pretty good camera to use for that so here is a roundup of all of the new features the first new feature is the addition of loop recording which should allow you to continuously record using your one r there is a new feature within the app called car multi view basically it allows you to automatically create a split screen if, if you are filming in a car where one half of the video will be facing outwards, outwards to the dashboard, and the other half will be facing towards the passengers. And so it will create a good video without you having to do any extra editing. Another new feature that involves using your camera in your car is a new accessory called the Rodi Remote, and I have it right here. This is essentially a remote control that you attach to the steering wheel of your car, allowing you to record, take photos, start a loop video, start a time shift, all of the uh, buttons are here. It comes with its own little battery. You just clip it on and it makes it super easy to use the camera while you're driving. Insta360 has several different remotes available for their cameras and this is the first one developed specifically for a car. I mean, you could probably also use it on a bike or something, but I think they have some other remotes that can do that. But yeah, this would easily fit on a steering wheel of a bike as well. You can buy this separately from the Insta360 website. I will post a link to where you can get it. If This update also includes two new shot lab features which uh, is if you didn't know the shot lab is basically where you can automatically create pretty cool effects using your insta360 one r the two new effects are called horizon flip and overtaker horizon flip essentially well i mean you can guess what it means it literally flips the horizon and puts it in a kind of mirror image so it's not going to be useful all the time because you do need a completely flat horizon for it to work properly I couldn't really do it here. I tried to find somewhere um, in the city to do it, but literally you need a flat horizon, so it's kind of hard to do that in the middle of London. I think the more interesting of the two is the overtaker effect. Again, this, this is designed to be used if you're on a motorbike. I guess you could probably also use it if you are cycling uh, pretty fast, overtaking things, but it automatically detects when you're overtaking cars and creates this cool video. I guess it kind of looks pretty cinematic. It looks like it's almost like on a computer game, like on a racing game. So if you wanted to use that effect, if you are someone who films uh, yourself riding your bike, your motorbike, then this will be a pretty unique effect. I've actually never seen anything like this before. There is a new frame rate mode for shooting with the one inch mod in 4K. You can now shoot at 50 frames per second. A new feature that's probably a little bit more useful for people shooting with the one inch mod is that horizon leveling is now available for this mod when shooting in the pro video mode. So you can get the maximum quality video and still have that stabilization, that horizon correction. It's not perfect because the one inch mod is not a 360 camera, so you don't get the same stabilization effect, but I tested it out and you do see a difference. You do have to sacrifice some of the frame. Um, it kind of has to zoom in a bit so you do lose some quality but if you wanted that stabilized effect along with the power that the one inch has to create decent quality video especially in difficult lighting conditions then this is a pretty big new feature that's pretty much it there's been a couple more small features added for example the vivid color profile has been updated so it to me looks more colorful than before and that is for the one inch mod as well the more powerful of all of the lenses available for this camera you can see here the difference between shooting vivid profile and non-vivid so that's it guys that is the insta360 
one are updates, just a quick list of what is available if you are interested. To get these updates, you need to download a new firmware, um, update your app, and possibly also update the Insta360 Studio, but all of those should be available pretty much automatically when you start up the app or your camera, it will know that it needs an update, so it should be pretty easy to get these new features. So that's it guys, I hope that was useful, um, I will be making some more videos soon, so stay tuned and I will see you next time, bye.